wasn't supposed to go like that. The phone is miraculously unharmed. <laughs> Alright, back to it. One of these days, this is going to look as cool as it feels. Hello, and welcome to today's vlog. In today's vlog, I'm gonna give you a little bit of a look behind the scenes of how I create a sketch note, specifically like a for hire, like sketch note project. The client, <laughs> in this case, is actually like my my company, ConvertKit, and so, um, not Hydro Flask. Maybe it's a little bit of cheating, but you know, anytime they, you know, someone asks you to take some time out of your normal day to like make a sketch note, that's still a client. It's just an internal client. And the process is still the same for me. I'm still talking with them about what the project is. <laughs> I'm still having, still having this conversation. You know, what, what do you expect to see? What are some ideas that you have? Just trying to uncover that value and discover how can I make, how can I create a sketch that delivers the idea concisely, effectively, and beautifully in my own way. <laughs> There's still conversation, there's still buy-in, there's still talking with the client. So, that all still happens. For this I'm using an app called 53 by Paper, or Paper by 53, one of those two. So it makes, oh man, that's, the thing that I love the most is that it's a really easy app to use. It, the, the colors on it are, and the brushes uh, are just fantastic. Like I haven't been, I use a ton of different apps I can't recreate kind of the, just the nice subtle colors on, on this. The downside of paper is that their exports are very limited. Uh, you can't really resize at all. Um, they don't have layers. And so when it comes to like just straightforward, quick sketch notes, this is what I use. Uh, you know, paper is what I use. If you're talking about like, Oh, Matt, we want an illustration, which is different. Matt, we want an illustration. That's using something different like Concepts or Procreate because I can do layers, I can go back, I can resize, I can wipe things. It's totally easier to use if you're going through a lot of different iterations, but oh man, the color. So what I'm gonna show you in the rest of this is just a little bit, I'm gonna do a screen share over there on my computer. And I'm gonna be doing a time lapse on this and I'm gonna be sketch noting on the iPad, and you're gonna see that on the screen share. This is the most, and I'm gonna have this camera on too, the most cameras I've worked with, and it's going to be probably one of the ones that I end up editing the most. So we shall see how all of it goes and how long it takes. I'll tell you at the end of this, no I won't, I'll put it in the description, how long it actually took me to do all this, which is more doable when you're doing a weekly vlog instead of a daily vlog. If I was doing a daily vlog, like this right here, this would be the vlog, like this video that's on right now. You you would have like, yeah, maybe just a little, just a little bit of this. There's nothing on here. Just a little bit of this, but it wouldn't be very much. We'll see how it goes. <laughs>